Sammy Davis, from, there are harrowing passages in this autobiography of yours. I'm thinking of um, the time you spent in the army mm. when you were constantly beaten up. And afterwards, when you were a performer, but were turned away from clubs and hotels, these countless indignations that were heaped upon you. Nowadays, when you're accepted by the same people, it would have turned you away once from their door. Don't you feel some contempt for them as you perform and see that those same faces applauding you now? No, it was, uh, I think uh, that I, because I had so much contempt thrown at me, so much hatred thrown at me, I've got no, I've really awakened to the point where I've really got no time to hate that vehemently back. I can't, you know, I'll get upset, I'll think it's ironic, but I cannot sit and stew because it's, it's unimportant, really. And if, if you waste your time and your energy, I've come to realize that if the people who hate, see, the biggers, gee, if they could concentrate a half of that time on discovering a cure for cancer, we would have had it discovered, you know, 20 years ago. But they, they spend, and it, and it becomes like this with them. And it's just frightening the world over. And I, got, I don't want to add to that. That's one group I do not want to belong to. I remember once after an unfortunate demonstration by some of Oswald Mosley's yeah. supporters, <laughs> uh, you turned the incident into uh, a piece of comedy in your show. Yeah. Is this because, how you sort of purge yourself of, of hurt? Well, actually, no, really. But what you do is you get it out. Mm. It's like, uh, you know, you get it out of your system. The hurt is still there. Every time someone's called a nigger, it hurts. And you can't deny it hurts. But you cannot lay on it. 